Good evening YouTube. So I think I have my Vera Lite with a four port powered USB hub and it's all ready to go in one little unit here. I was thinking I could go on this side but this is where the uh, batteries are. So I guess I needed to keep this side open and then I have my power ethernet and so what I did they use a 2.1 by 5.5 millimeter uh, coaxial power jack. I soldered a matching jack right here so then I can plug the existing Vera power supply in here and then I tap off 12 volts for the Vera plug right here and then I bring 12 volts and ground over to this DC buck converter. This is set to 5 volts output that guy goes over here, plugs into my USB hub, and then I plug my USB cable in. And then I've got my hub and a memory stick right now in there. And then I can plug my serial gateway and any other devices in there. Everything's just held on with Velcro, so it's removable. And then here's my bench supply, and I can just plug that right in here. And then you've got the uh, Vera is running, or it's booting up anyway, and you can see it's accessing the memory stick right there. So everything seems to be working, and you can see why I wanted as small a hub as I could get. I mean, this is a tiny little hub, and it's pretty much as big as the Vera Light. So, I mean, there's my hand. And then ultimately, I want to power this off of my 12 volt battery banks. So that was my main goal here was to make everything run off of 12 volt DC. Let me show you what this is going to look like here. Yeah, so I've got my DC power supply set to 12 volts and it's putting out 370 milliamps is the highest I've seen. Looks like the system is still booting up. I don't have the Ethernet hooked in. Okay, so you can see right now we're pulling Looks like 290, I guess it jumps up to 380, so it's kind of steady at 290 milliamps, so what I'm going to do is, is run the voltage up a little bit. Okay, so I see I went up to 13 volts and it's dropped to 270, and if I go up maybe a little bit higher, like 13, 14 volts, you can see the current is dropping so that tells me that there is some sort of switching regulator inside of the Vera and then of course my buck converter is a switching regulator so then if we go down let's go down to like maybe 11 volts and you can see the, the current has now gone from 290 up to 310 so it takes more current at a lower voltage but the Vera still seems to be running yeah, so at this setting here, say at 12.7 volts, that works out to about 3.6 watts of power. And at that current, say taking the 280 times 24 hours, works out to about 7 amp hours of DC energy is going to be required to power my Vera off my solar battery bank. Okay, so this is the power supply that comes with the Vera Light, but this one says 12 volt 1.0 amps. I guess they're supplying a smaller supply than they describe, but what I'm going to do is I want to see how much power this supply takes, because we saw the Vera was taking about 3.6 watts, so I've got this plugged in, I've got the other end plugged into the Vera, so let's power it up here. And look at that. That seems to be pretty much booted up there. So, yeah, maybe 7, 8 watts of power that it's using. So, yeah, that might be, might be in the 40 to 50% efficiency range. But these, these small power supplies are not terribly efficient. 4 to 5 watts is being dissipated in here and only 3.6 3 watts is coming over here to get used in the device. That is the reason I want to get rid of this. They, they don't call them wall warts for nothing. 
Now I would have had this one for the USB hub. This is the power supply for my USB hub. So I'm going to unplug the Vera power supply. Let's do that. So here's the USB hub power supply. Here's my serial gateway. So I've got the, the serial gateway USB. And you can see just plugging in an Arduino is using 2 watts of power. So just supplying a little bit of load, it goes from 1.6 up to 2.4 so that's yeah eight tenths almost a watt of additional power for that Arduino I've gotten rid of this one completely so this device here replaces this device here so I'll show you what it looks like up on the shelf here when I get it put back together okay YouTube here's my finished Vera with its self-powered Hub. My main goal here was I didn't want to have anything extra that I had to take apart or plug back in because one thing you have to realize with the Vera home controllers is that when you're pairing devices with the Vera you have two choices. One is you can bring the device close to the Vera or you can bring the Vera close to the device. And that's why they have the batteries inside in the back. So you can actually run this device for pairing mode off of the batteries. So that's kind of a nice feature because, for instance, if you have a, a device that you've wired into an outlet or a junction box someplace, you may not be able to take it out and bring it close to here. So you always have the option of bringing this close to the device. If you have any questions about that, post up in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, you can subscribe to my channel with the link down there. And if you uh, found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.